Hi everybody, I'm Paula. It's great to have you with us for this bubble session. This week we are starting a new series where we find out that God is with us wherever we go. Our new theme is called Sing in the Rain. And here's the picture in our scrapbook for our new theme, Sing in the Rain. Let's join in with this month's song and then find out what Ollie has to tell us that he has found in the Bible. Puddles, and I dropped my favorite teddy bear in one. <sighs> I really don't want to go back out in that rain again. Oh no, it's time to go home for lunch. Mom said to come home when the alarm goes off. That means leaving this warm, dry clubhouse and running home in all this rain. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho! This rain has you feeling a little blue. Hi, Ollie. It sure does. It's been raining for days and days now, and my mom needs me to come home for lunch. I know I need to do what she says, but I just don't want to get all wet. Doing what you're told can be hard. It's true. I've got a story just for you. 
Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's been such a rainy day. It's easy to get down sometimes when you're in the rain or when things don't go your way. But I've got a story that might help. Do you want to hear it? You do? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This story begins with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had an idea. He had his people make a giant golden statue of him. Now, when I say giant, I mean giant. Wow, look at that. That is huge. And King Nebuchadnezzar loved it so much. So he told all the people in the kingdom to gather around. Then he told them that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me? Get out your pretend trumpets like this. Bum, ba, da, bum. And when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music. Bum, ba, da, bum. Perfect. Trumpets down. Okay, so the king told everyone every time the music played that he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. That's great, trumpets down. The king said that if you didn't bow down, he was going to throw you into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, and the king was serious. So. Each day, the music played, and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there are three men that did not bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They loved God and wanted to obey him. God had told them never to bow down to anyone but him. So they did not bow down to the statue. How do you think the king felt when he saw these three not bowing? Do you think he was happy? No, he was very mad. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, if I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not afraid. They knew that God was with them and that no matter what happens, God's got it. So they went into the fire, but then something happened. Look, how many people do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four shadows. Someone else was in the fire. It was an angel sent by God to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How cool is that? And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He is so amazed. He had never seen anything like this. And the king said, come out of the fire. So they all came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow, God was with them and saved them from the fire. From that day on, the king prayed only to God. <laughs> what an incredible story. And don't forget that no matter what, God is always with us. God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? 
God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God was with the three friends, and he will be with you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, what a great story. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego through a really scary time. God stayed with them and did not leave them. God is always with us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Well, I know God will be with me in the rain, and I need to do what Mom says. So, here I go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 was a great story. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. We're going to play a game now. Everyone watch me and do what I do. Now we've really got to use our listening ears for this game. You get your listening ears out so that you will know what you have to do. I'm going to do a movement and if I say Simon says before I do it, then you can do it too. Be sure to listen really carefully with those listening ears. Simon says to jump. I said Simon says, so now you jump. Have a go. That was brilliant, well done, great jump, jumping. Okay, let's do another one. Touch your toes. Ah, <gasps> great listening. I didn't say Simon says, did I? So you didn't touch your toes. That was brilliant. You're doing such a good job, well done. Now, let's have another go. Simon says, pat your head. Brilliant! I said Simon says, which means that you pat your head too. Well done. Spin around. Fantastic! I didn't say Simon says, so you didn't spin around. You're really good at this game. Well done. Today, we heard a Bible story about three men who God told to only bow to him. They said no, because they only bowed to one true God. This made the king very cross, but when he saw that God protected them in the fire, he agreed with them that God is the one true God. Now it's time for our memory verse. I'm going to say our new memory verse. Everyone watch me. God is with you wherever you go. And that's in the Bible, in a book called Joshua. Right, can we do it together now? You, can you do it too? And help me. I bet, you're, I bet you'll be better at it than I will. Are you ready? Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. And that's in the Bible in a book called Joshua. Fantastic, well done guys. Our memory verse today tells us that God is always with us, no matter what. Now, I'm going to pretend that this circle is the furnace in our Bible story today. We can call it a fire or a furnace, it's the same thing. So I'm going to pretend that this is my fire, okay? My circle of conquers. When I jump into it, I'm going to say, God's got it. Because in our story, 
we heard about how Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were in the fire, but they didn't need to worry because God had it. He was looking after them and was always with them. So I'm going to jump. Are you ready? And when I jump in, I'm going to say, God's got it. You could say it too when I jump. You could, um, you could always jump and you could say it with me. Are you ready? Here I go. I'm going to do a jump. God's got it. Step back out. Right, this time I wonder if I could do a bigger jump. Are you ready? Shall I see? Watch my legs. You can't see my head, can you? So let's watch my legs and I'll do a bigger jump. Oh, big jump. God's got it. Now, if that was a real fire, we wouldn't jump into it, would we? Jumping into a real fire is not a good idea. That's why we're just pretending. This week, do you think you could find something to make a circle on the floor and pretend that it's the fire in our Bible story from today? You could use conkers like I have. My little boy Wilbur loves collecting conkers at the moment. So I had lots of conkers, so I thought I'd use them to make my circle. But you could use a piece of string, or you could draw a circle on a piece of paper, and you could jump into your circle just like me and say, God's got it, to remind yourself that God listens to us and is always there when we need him. Before we say goodbye, we're going to use our scrapbook to help us remember all of the things that we have learnt about today. Our story told us that God is always with us. He sent an angel, can you see the angel? To protect Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego when they were in the fire. And he protects us too. We've got our words here to help us remember our story. God is always with me. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And that's in the Bible in a book called Daniel. Our prayer for this week is dear God, thank you for always being there when we need you. Amen. Now, shall we do that together in the special way that we do it? In bubbles, let me pop that scrapbook down there. So, what do we do first? Can you remember? That's right, hands on heads, hands on shoulders, hands on knees, and hands together. Dear God, thank you for always being there when we need you. Now I'm going to say goodbye and I'll see you soon. Thank you for joining us for our bubble session this week. And don't forget, see if you can have a go at the in and out challenge where you make a circle on the floor and pretend that it's a fire. And you can jump into the fire. And can you remember what you need to say? God's got it. That's right, have a go at that this week. Bye.